Bucket Tov, covering my name, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we do have breaking news coming out of Syria. Uh, of course, the offensive has really begun far more heavier by the Syrian and Russian militaries uh, to take back Idlib. But on the heels of this happening, uh, Vanessa Bealey shared this article on Twitter. Of course, she wrote in her tweet, it is alleged that 200 American and British soldiers are trapped in Idlib. Uh, it, it says here in the article that she shared with me, which is from freenation.net, that tr uh, 200 British and U.S. troops are trapped in Idlib. It speaks about in this article how that the U.S. has been working with Turkey and with Russia to try to get the soldiers out of this area. They are advisors to the jihadists that are fighting in this region. Once again, this is being kept from mainstream media in the United States because, after all, it shows the complicity of our work behind the scenes with the terrorist organizations, Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, uh, Al-Sham, whichever ones you want to name, we are behind them and working with them to overthrow the president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad. Very troubling indeed to, to hear about this. Well, the odd thing is, is that Turkey has rejected the uh, rescue of these soldiers and to take them to the Insulik Air Base there inside of Turkey, which, by the way, let's just jump over here, look at the map here. You got to understand this is a very troubled issue because, after all, when you're in Idlib, Latvia, we have the Russian air base, which is right here. Russia controls this area, Turkey controls this area, U.S. forces are in Idlib. There's no way out. You got to either go through Syrian troops, Turkish, or Russian. All right. Now, the Turkish troops, which they could easily cross the border into Turkey and get safe passage to the Insulik Air Base, but they have declined the U.S. help and the U.K.'s help to be able to go to the Insulik Air Base there inside of Turkey. A U.S. NATO allied air base and a NATO allied country rejecting their help. Now, the Russians would help. You know, it's funny, Turkey's your NATO ally and they turn you down. The Russians offer to help evacuate the U.S. and British uh, forces out of this area, but unfortunately the U.K. with their little uh, hypochondriac acting over the Scripple case, which the evidence that they have provided is unfounded still, um, refuses to work with the Russians.